Cheers. What is up, YouTube? How's it going today, you guys? As you can see, we're out here at another venue with Jimmy Allen, shooting some shows. Today, we are in the beautiful country of Canada. We're in Ottawa, Canada, doing a show here in this awesome arena. Yesterday, we were in Toronto, which was gorgeous. And today, as you guys can tell from that intro sequence, we are going over masking, how you can mask out objects to reveal the next clip. And it's a lot easier than it looks, and I'm gonna show you guys some tricks to make it smoother and look way more professional and way more natural. So let's get into Da Vinci. All right, guys, we are back here yet again in Da Vinci Resolve. And as you can see, I have all my imported footage up here, and I've selected my two clips that will be doing the mask transition with right down here and with those two clips i've chosen one shot from soundcheck when we were in ottawa canada this past weekend and i'm going to use this yellow pole right here to reveal this shot right here which would be a shot from that same show just later in the day so the first thing that you want to do obviously is pick out your two clips and get them lined up in your timeline so to line them up correctly in your timeline what you want to do is whatever shot is on your foreground or the shot that isn't going to be revealed will go on top you need to put that on your video layer too and you need to line up the shot that is going to be revealed by the mask with where the mask starts and ends so my mask is going to start right there and it's going to finish right at the end and reveal this clip. Once you get everything lined up and ready to go, like so, you're gonna go into your color tab down here. And what you need to do is make sure you have the clip that you're going to mask, put your mask on selected, so it's right down here. And you need to come up here to your node graph. If you don't see your node graph, right up here on the top right hand corner, is you're gonna see a little nodes button, just click that and it'll bring up your node graph. What you wanna do is right click, and you need to go to add alpha output. Now when you connect your node to your alpha output, this is gonna allow your mask to show through. So let's get started doing the masking process. What you wanna do is come down here into your window tab, and you have all these different windows that you, or masks that you can choose from. If you're going to do a simple circle mask you can do the circle simple square and so forth i like to always select the pen tool and i'm going to zoom out on my clip a little bit and what you're going to do at this point is you want to find out where you want this to start and i want it to start right here and i'm going to start my mask just like so there's a simple rectangle now if you notice your screen will go completely black if you come down here See this little box, you just click that, that will invert the mask. You do not want it to mask out this, we're trying to mask out and reveal the clip underneath it. So what you now you need to come down and do is keyframe your corrector node, and you need to just bump this a little bit, so that creates a keyframe. Now this is where the mask is going to start, and now one thing a lot of people tend to leave out and don't show you guys or tell people when it comes to masking is, is you want to keyframe the beginning and you want to keyframe the very end. So we're going to go like this. We're going to come all the way to the very end, right here. We're going to select that clip and you're going to bring your mask all the way over, like so. Now, you might think you're done, but you're not. So you got to come back to the beginning, where it is. And you need to come to the middle and see how I have open space and it's just, it's not perfect. We need to come and we need to match this mask in the middle. And now you just work your way backwards, back to the beginning. And you want to do it, you want to break it down in halves. The least amount of keyframes the better. I used to be the kind of person that would go frame by frame by frame creating my masks and I'll get a really jittery, not natural looking mask. If you break it up into halves and you come back and you check on your mask and you see where it's at, 
you're going to have the least amount of keyframes needed, making your mask as smooth as possible, which a lot of people, like I said, do not tell you when it comes to the masking process. So we're going to come like this. All right. So now that looks pretty crisp on the front half. Let's check the back half. See how on the back half I got some of it exposed. So I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to come and split the distance between the end of the clip and my last good keyframe, and I'm just gonna fix the mask. So now if I come backwards, it is in a good position, as you can see. So now moving forward again, we're gonna see that there's some space open. We'll just fix that like so, and bring that right over like that on our last keyframe, and there we go. We have a successful, smooth, mask but if we come back to the edit page we'll see that there's a super harsh line right here one thing you can do to make that look more natural again and make it look just smoother is you come down to where it says softness and you just can kind of drag this up and you can just kind of manipulate it however you personally like it i usually stick around the two or three and that just kind of softens that edge so now when we come back to the edit page and we watch this back through, the transition is just nice and smooth. And you can notice that these edges are nice and soft, just like that. So that's pretty much all that's to it when it comes to masking in DaVinci Resolve. All you gotta do is come down here to your color tab, add your alpha output, make your mask, like I said, when you keyframe it, make the least amount of keyframes as possible. It's going to give you the smoothest, most natural looking mask that you can possibly get. And that's really all that's to it, guys. So there you have it, guys. That is how you do a quick masking transition in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys are liking these tutorials. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to see, like I always say, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribing. I appreciate all the love that you guys are giving me in these last three videos with all the likes and the comments and we got more people subscribing each day which is super dope to see so thank you all for doing that. Also check out this dope shirt that my wife made me. Let me know what you guys think of these. I think they're pretty awesome. I love wearing these kind of shirts and I'm shooting my shows. Uh, let me know what you guys think of those. Also you know like I said I just want to say thank you to everybody for following along. Uh, our next tutorial will be coming out in the next couple days, so just make sure, like I say, you subscribe so you know when we're uh, dropping more heat like today. So thank you all, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.